normal means a line which is perpendicular to a surface. For example, uh, for a sphere, if you consider a normal, then normal definitely will go through the center of the sphere. But this is not the case for the ellipsoid. Consider a parallel in the northern part of the ellipsoid, and we plot all normals. And we observe that they will converge somewhere along the direction of the semi minor axis of the ellipsoid, but not at the center. Also, if we plot all normals at all points on the meridian, then they will collide rotation axis of the ellipsoid. which contains a semi-minor axis, but not at the center. The only case that this normal can go through center is that they are normal at the equator or they are at the polar area, the pole, north pole or south pole. Otherwise, no normal can go through the center of the ellipse. We have observed that normal to the ellipsoid will not go through the center of the ellipsoid. So consider, consider two points at two different positions on the surface of an ellipsoid and draw normal at each. You cannot find any relation between two these two lines or these two normals. So you cannot find any plate which can contain both of them. It's not possible. And they are not parallel either. You simply say that the normal lines to the ellipsoid are skewed when the points are not aligned meridian or parallel. Normal lines to the ellipsoid are skewed when the points are not aligned meridian or parallel. Now we can define different types of latitudes at the surface of the ellipse. The left hand side, you observe the normal to the ellipsoid. The normal to the ellipsoid, as I explained, will not go through the center of the ellipse. It will collide the x axis or the equatorial plane somewhere. And the angle between that normal and that plane or equatorial plane, which we show it here, but x in two dimension is called geodetic latitude. Geodetic latitude. Now consider that I draw a line from the surface or from the point P to the center of the ellipse or ellipsoid. This angle is called geocentric latitude. Geocentric latitude. Note that the geocentric latitude is not defined based on normal to the ellipsoid, but based on the geocentric distance. The, the next one is the reduced latitude. Reduced latitude is defined like that. If we have point P here at the surface of the ellipsoid, and I draw a sphere, a sphere with the radius of the semi-major axis of the ellipsoid, this will be here. This. Now I continue point P or project it along z direction to this sphere and from that projected point i draw a line to the center of the 
ellipsoid. This latitude is called radius latitude. Why is it important? That's interesting because by using radius latitude, you can transfer the geodetic latitude from the geometric, from the ellipsoidal geometry to a spherical geometry. That will be easier to work with it. In order to see the relation between the latitudes, we plot all of them in a plot, as you see on the left hand side. So, geocentric uh, latitude is smaller than reduced latitude, and both of them smaller than the geodetic latitude for one point. On the right hand side, you can observe the mathematical models for conversion of the latitudes to each other. It's enough that you have a major and semi-minor axis of the ellipse. Now, let us see this conversion in an example. Example 1.1. The geodetic latitude of a point at the surface of the WGS reference ellipsoid, you see the parameters of the ellipsoid. Here, the semi-major semi -major axis and excellent first eccentricity is 55 degrees, 25 minutes, and 30 seconds. Compute the reduced latitude and geocentric latitude. The first thing is to compute the semi-minor axis of the ellipsoid because all of the formula we have the conversion of the latitudes need semi-major axis and semi-minor axis. So from this first eccentricity and after simplification we can come to this formula. And by inserting the value of semi-major axis and first eccentricity in the formula, you will get the semi-minor axis value. So, the reduced latitude is derived simply by this formula. B, semi-minor axis, we have already computed. Semi-major axis, we already have from the problem and geodetic latitude we already have. If we take inverse of the tangent or r tangent of the result, we get this value. And as you observe, the radius latitude is five minutes smaller than geodetic latitude. Similarly, we can compute the geocentric latitude and based on the formula and taking the arc tangent, you will come to that. And as you see, the minutes are smaller than the minutes of the reduced latitude, and both of them are smaller than 25 minutes than the minutes of. Therefore, as we already shown in the figure, the geocentric latitude for a point is smaller than reduced latitude and reduced latitude is smaller than the geodetic latitude.